Hello and welcome to Fusion Research. Today we're going to have a look at the Control 4 driver for our PlayFi music servers. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you visit our website and go to the PlayFi section and go under PlayFi drivers and setup. Scroll down and you'll see the Control 4 section. This is actually the virtual switch driver for the Control 4. You're going to want to click on this and download it and save it on your laptop so you can get to it in Composer later. Now, you're going to open Composer, and like you normally would, you'd start a new project. So we've started a new home house uh, with three rooms, for example, and an equipment room. So now we're ready to go. The first thing you need to remember is we are still using the certified Ovation driver that we've got to do the main control of the uh, server. But what we've done is added this second virtual switch driver that will actually plumb everything for the PlayFi servers. So the first thing I'm going to go to do is search for drivers. I'm going to click on Ovation. You're going to see just the regular Ovation uh, driver available. And what you're going to do is you're going to create one for each source that you need on that box. Remember, the PlayFi server is six sources. Now in this case, we've got all six plumbed. You're going to add that six times. But to make it simple, what we're going to do for this video is just look at the three PlayFi sources instead. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to now go and search for PlayFi, looking for that PlayFi virtual switch that we've created that you've saved earlier from our website. This, again, will be available within Composer later on, eventually in non-certified, and then finally certified. But for the moment, you can certainly find it on our website. So you're going to take that switch uh, and uh, drag it across and create your PlayFi switch. Now we're ready to start doing some configuring. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is give them all an IP address. Since this is all uh, coming out of one box, we just simply type in the IP address. Now we need to tie the PlayFi's outputs to the specific inputs on the virtual switch. To do this, we connect each of the source's stereo outputs to the corresponding input on the virtual switch. Now that you've connected each of those sources to the switches inputs, you'll see those on the switches configurator. Go to the PlayFi switch and you'll see them pop up. From the PlayFi switch, we're going to scroll down and now we need to hook our outputs from the switch to each room that will host our PlayFi devices. We go under room control and for each audio output, we take the audio volume and selection and connect it to the appropriate room's audio endpoint. Now, also notice there are 40 outputs available on this virtual switch. We can do more. If you, for some reason, need to do more than 40 outputs, simply contact us and we can create a custom driver. Okay, now we're getting close. The last thing we want to do is take each individual PlayFi source and physically attach it to the uh, driver by putting in the specific MAC addresses. So each source has its own MAC address. I'm going to input it manually. I can also, instead of inputting it manually, I can choose Next Player on the Easy drop-down menu. If I click Set on that, it'll automatically fill in the Next MAC address. Simple, right? Okay, the very last step is configuring your PlayFi switch. It's as simple as choosing whether you want increase, decrease, or ramping on your volume mode. If you choose increase, decrease, you can choose the percentage of which every time that button's pushed it's going to go, 1 to 5%. Or if you prefer to run your volume controls via a ramp, a tap and hold, or just a simple tap, you can select ramp as well. Once you've done that, set that, you're essentially done. Sounds easy, right? Well, if you do have any questions, please call us at 925-217-1233 or email us at support at fusionrd.com. I wish you all the best with your PlayFi project in a Control 4 project. Thank you. Mm -hmm.